Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today's video is another unboxing video. You must think I'm crazy. One unboxing right after another. <laughs> the fact is, I actually purchased this bag way before the last one. It's been sitting in my closet for a couple of months already. And before I got around to do the unboxing for it, I ran into this uh, very rare, hard to find Fendi Peekaboo at our Melbourne City boutique store. It was so special that this bag had to take a back seat. Sorry, I still love you. <laughs> Here's the link to my last video for the very special Fendi Peekaboo Mini. If you are watching on mobile phone, I have added a link in the description section for you, just in case you don't see the link on the screen. Sometimes it does happen. This is the latest version of the Louis Vuitton Twist. So let's open it up and see what have been updated this time. And hopefully you'll find it helpful if you are considering to add this bag to your collection. I really wish uh, Louis Vuitton would improve the packaging of their bags. Although I agree it's what's inside that counts. I also think that the packaging is supposed to match what's inside when it comes to selling luxury items. I just don't feel like that this packaging did justice to what's inside. Please leave a comment below whether you agree with me that um, they need to improve their packaging. Okay, are you ready to see it? This is it. This is Louis Vuitton's iconic twist in gold meal, which means honey gold. The twist was first introduced at their cruise runway show in 2015. Since then, it has become a new classic. The design was the creative director Nicola Gesquier's reinterpretation of a clutch bag from one of their many discontinued lines, the Tepis clutch, which was uh, released in 1988. It was a clutch in the epileather with the lock featured with the interlaced letters L and V to form the LV initial. The twist is a roomier version of the turpis clutch. It is cleverly designed with this wave base that provides extra space for storage without making the bag look too bulky. The updated tone lock has a what's called the 3D bomby effect which I believe it means curved. Correct me if I'm wrong. The design of this metal closure is absolutely ingenious. The featured LV logo right in the front and center of the bag not only makes a bold statement, it also functions as a turn lock to secure the bag. Whoever designed this logo closure is pure genius. And also, don't you just love the modern and minimalist look of the bag? To open the bag, a smooth twist fits the letter L into the V. That's why it's called a twist. Isn't this uh, clicking sound satisfying? I could play with it forever. The lock is the feature of this bag. Therefore, its design was uh, thoroughly thought out. The mechanism is incredibly smooth. And look at the lock where in between the, the two letters. Can you see it? It's probably very hard to see. 
there's actually a bit of a space in between. This allows the two letters to glide over each other without causing any scratches on the surface of the hardware. When it's in the locked position, the hardware creates a distinctively interlocked LV. This LV turn lock is the signature of the twist collection. You see it on every twist. The most classic and um, original twist is always made in the brand's uh, most iconic Epi leather, which has been Louis Vuitton's uh, most popular leather for over a century. The Epi was introduced um, to their trunk construction in 1920. It was then reinvented in 1985 with the new version to be thinner and softer, making it possible to be used uh, to construct their handbags. It's a grand leather with the two layers of print that allowed a difference in color uh, between the deeper layer and the surface layer to create this uh, three-dimensional wave pattern. If you look closely, you can see the subtle difference between the rises and the growth of the leather. Despite its rigidity, Epi leather actually has a nice natural stretch, which allows some flexibility to the storage capacity of the bag. It is also very resistant to scratches, water damage, and general wear and tear. Maybe that's the reason why Epi bags are very popular on the resale market. They require very little care and can look new for years. I really love the Epi leather, not only because it's the most robust leather from LV, also it's more subtle and understated than the canvas and enpont leather. My husband can tell that this petite mole is from LV straight away, but not the twist. So I guess I probably can um, get away with the not getting his consent for purchasing this bag. <laughs> I once read it somewhere, it said the monogram screams for attention, but the epi whispers. Inside the bag, it's lined with uh, microfiber. I like microfiber interior, and I don't have to worry about um, the items inside are scratching the leather surface, and it makes the bag lighter to carry. Here comes the update. I've been wanting the twist for a couple of years, but I just didn't like the metal and the leather shoulder strap, especially when it's carried single chain. The shoulder strap comes with this bag, it's what sold me. It's made with a canvas and a bit of a leather trim and it's white with the distinctive LV logos. Scream for attention. <laughs> Let's just hook it up. I normally prefer bags that are subtle and understated, but there's something about this color and this uh, strap combination that caught my attention um, in the store. There's a short leather strap for hand carrying the bag. So let's uh, just hook it up. And a mirror inside <laughs> which is very handy for the ladies this bag is so versatile you can hand carrier or shoulder carrier yeah or cross it carry it cross body It is really a great bag to transition from day and night. So all you need to do is remove this big 
loud shoulder strap and you are ready to go to a nice dinner. Again, I got it in the MM, which is the medium size. As I said in my last video, I'm not a mini bag person. I tend to go for the medium size. This is the biggest size for the twist. And there's also a PM size, which is considerably smaller and a mini size, which is really, really tiny. Let me show you what fits inside. I've got my wallet, key pouch, my glasses, sunglasses, hand sanitizer, and a phone. As we can see, it looks deceptively small, but it really fits a ton. Like I said in my last video for the unboxing of my very special Fendi Peekaboo Mini, I always go for the bags that I can wear every day that goes with my outfit. This bag again fits the bill. Also, we all want the bags that we can wear and stay new and relevant for as long as possible. The Epi Leather is a great choice. It's super durable and timeless. Therefore, a great long-term investment to our wardrobe. At least that's what my experience is with the Epi Leather. That's why I bought it again. Leave a comment below if you agree with me. There you go. That's the end of the unboxing video. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Thanks for watching.